Good morning, class. How was your guys' weekend? Good. Okay. How about you, Angelita? Fine. Bingo? Super duper good. I went to this place with my mommy. Cool. So today we're going to learn about something new. Pearl Harbor. Is that like where you fish for pearls? Good one. No. Pearl Harbor occurred on December 7, 1941, and it was where hundreds of Japanese fighter planes attacked American naval base at Pearl Harbor near Honolulu, Hawaii. Ooh, I went to Hawaii once with my mommy. We got to go swimming. Cool! Now back to what I was saying. The Japanese managed to destroy nearly 20 American naval vessels, including eight enormous battleships and a around 200 airplanes. Now, will everyone turn to page 89 in their textbooks and read the section on Pearl Harbor, and in a few minutes we'll discuss something that you found interesting. Two hours later. So, Joselita, what did you find interesting? Well, I was shocked that there were more than 2,000 American soldiers and sailors that died in the attack, and another 1,000 were wounded. It's really weird to think about that after the Japanese bombed us, that's when we really got started in the war. Everything just happened so quickly. How interesting. How about you, Angelita? I thought it was interesting how Japan and America had growing tensions for several years, but no one acted on it. However, Japan was relentless and was determined to win the War of the Pacific and finally disrupted the suspense. Excellent answer. How about you, Bingo? Pearl Harbor seems really, 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 really bad. Um, yeah, good answer, Bingo. But another reason why Japan attacked Pearl Harbor was because the U.S place an embargo on Japan's steel, scrap metal, and oil supply. And this is considered to be a threat to Japan's survival, so they began, they began to um, plan revenge against U.S. by striking back. Oh! I heard from my mommy that the Japanese were treated unfairly in the U.S. after the bombing and many of them were sent into internet camps. Bingo, you mean internment camps? Yes, yes, internment camps, because they were of the Japanese descent. I know. This is a very tragic event in our history. Now, I have a different question for you guys. What do you think would have happened if Japan never bombed Pearl Harbor and instead attacked somewhere else on the U.S. mainland? What? Wrong daydream. The Japanese started sending troops on December 7, 1941 at approximately 5 a.m. to march around and start attacking people and everything in San Francisco. They burned down 30 buildings and over 3,000 dead and another 1,000 wounded. Wow, Bingo, that was an interesting idea. What do you think, Joselita? Bingo's daydream really got me thinking that if Japan invaded San Francisco, what else could happen? Over 100,000 troops were dropped over Washington, D.C., which led to the U.S. not being able to send our own troops to Europe to help aid in the war. Hey, wouldn't that have meant that the U.S. would have never sent the bombs to Japan and the atomic bomb would have never been invented? What are you doing here? Get out of my daydream. As I was saying, the U.S. would have sent a letter to Joseph Stalin apologizing on how they couldn't help with anymore with defeating Germany, but they told them the best of luck. Dear Joseph Stalin, I'm sorry to inform you that the United States of America will not be able to send troops your way to help you in the war against Germany. No! Thought Joselita. How about you, Angelita? Hmm. So if the U.S. never entered World War II, then Hitler might have been able to successfully dominate more and more countries. Maybe he wouldn't have even committed suicide. I think that many of many years of war would have to go by before the U.S. and Japan finally came to peace with each other. Two thousand years later. Uh, USA, initial here. And here. And here. Japan, sign here.
So think about it like this. If the United States couldn't have helped Russia during World War II to defeat Hitler in Germany, then Hitler's influence could still be affecting the world today. All right, class, that's all we have for today. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace. I hear the alarm go off.